folks, hello, hello. How is everybody? Good to see you all. I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to Black Dragon Biker TV. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. Uh, this uh, uh, show is really to talk about uh, my experience with the Moderna, Mo, Mo, Moderna, Moderno, Moderna, the Moderna COVID-19 vaccination that I took on 1-13-2021. And the reason I'm making this video is because so many folks have asked me, uh, one way or the other, they've called me or whatever to ask me um, how this virus has affected me. And um, and so I just thought, well, heck, um, uh, maybe I should just uh, do this one time so I don't have to do it over and over again and uh, tell you guys a little bit about my experience um, with coronavirus, uh, the, the coronavirus vaccine, why I took it and how I'm doing with it uh, now four days in, I suppose. And, um, uh, you know, maybe that can um, help some of you guys with your anxieties uh, as to whether or not you should get it or uh, anything like that. So uh, we'll start with a little background music and I'll tell you guys uh, my experience with it. So um, I... Um, uh, I I decided early on that uh, if they came up with some sort of vaccine that I would probably take it. Uh, all of this business about uh, the disease being a fake and fake news and all that, I guess I, I was willing to buy that like everybody else until my friends and people I know and family just started <laughs> dropping dead from the thing. Uh, I've lost a brother-in-law. Uh, I've lost uh the parents of uh the national president of my motorcycle club uh both of his parents died within a week of each other uh i've lost so many other people my aunt died her whole family has it um uh on her side my great grand aunt uh has it um and so this thing being fake and not real and all that uh, that kind of went by the wayside real early for me. Then in my motorcycle club, so many people have it. Um, and I've seen, uh, some of my, my closest, uh, chums, some of my closest friends in the club, uh, have it and get sick with it. So, uh, more people had it than died from it, but enough people around me started dying. And then the external motorcycle club family that I know across the entire United States of America, uh, so I know or know of literally uh, scores of people that uh, have this disease, have died from this disease, are struggling with this disease, or are struggling with the after effects of this disease. People that have um, problems with their lungs now, problems with their kidneys now, problems with their everything. And uh, I'm like, okay, this whole idea of this thing being fake is uh, no longer a... Uh, uh, a uh, 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 consideration for me so it has to be real uh, and then I know so many people that work in the medical industry oh my best friend I went to grade school with grew up with uh, he's an emergency room doctor down in Houston and you know he was just like uh, man this thing is bad then I'm looking at uh, television reports and I, I'm looking at all these people and all these people sick and everything. And I say to myself, you know, self, this might be something uh, that you don't want to be dealing with. So I made up my mind early that I was going to take the test um, or take the, uh, the, the, the vaccination if it ever came about. So the next thing for me was I have underlying comorbidities, they call them. Which means that uh, your black ass is close to death. Uh, forgive my cursing there. Um, I have high blood pressure, diabetes. Um, I've had uh, uh, heart um, disease. I've, I've, I'm, I'm taking heart medicine. I have um, uh, problems with my kidneys. Uh, 
I take a diabetic shot once a week. Um, so I needed to get back in shape. And of course, I'm doing that. But in the getting back in shape, uh, it's like when you tell a doctor, well, uh, you got high blood pressure. Well, okay, I'll, I'll change my diet, but I don't want to take any pills. Well, you're going to need to take the pills, then change the diet. We got to get your high blood pressure down now, <laughs> then work you, work you down to where you don't need the pills anymore. This is, this is how this works. So as I'm working out and working to lose weight and eating better, and I've hired a nutritionist and this, that, and the other, and um, while, I, while I'm doing that, in the in the meantime, I've got to get my body down, uh, get and and or, or get some safety in my body while I'm trying to get my body down. So, um, this was another consideration for me. You have comorbidities that uh, are taking people out, and so I was like, hmm. Uh, so then I became an advocate for it, uh, and being in the biker world and becoming an advocate of something like that, man. I've got so many bikers. You traitor. You, you, you don't know what it means to be free. You, 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 you bow down to government tyranny. Oh my goodness. And all of these things. And, uh, this is what you have to go through (laughs) in the bike world. But I made up my mind a long time ago that I march by the beat of this drum over here. I, I pay these bills. I march by the beat of this drum here. And as a, uh, influencer, um, a social media influencer, a guy that people watch every single solitary day read my books on and on i felt i had a responsibility so i announced to the world i will be taking the test i I keep saying test i will be taking the vaccination uh when it comes thinking surely that i had you know till july or june or august or something before uh, my time would roll around and so i would be able to get a chance to do what you guys are doing ask somebody who already took it uh but then uh, I got a call from my doctor um, on the, what was it, the uh, 13th. I got a call from my doctor, and my doctor says, hey, man, um, you need to go in and get this test. The Veterans Administration is giving this, th- I keep saying test. I don't know why I want to say test all the time. You need to go in and get this vaccination. The Veterans Administration is giving this uh, vaccination a way to anybody that can get in here uh, this day. This I think it was a Thursday. Anyone that can get in here Thursday will get this test. And um, I guess it was in an effort to just get vaccines and arms. And, you know, everybody at the VA is sick. So uh, the VA said, we're going to have a walk-in day. And that was that Thursday. I believe it was a Thursday. And you're going to walk in and get that test. And if, if you can get here before, I think it was 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon that they were going to stop. And if you can get here before 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we're going to give you a test. <laughs> we're going to give you the um, uh, vaccination. I don't know why. I just got test on the brain. But anyway, we'll give you the vaccination. So uh, speaking of test, I never took a test because I... Uh, I never got sick with COVID, to my knowledge. But I will tell you this. Another consideration for me was that um, I had exposure to a, uh, a baby uh, in the family. This baby had been taken back to daycare uh, during the, the pandemic. Uh, the mother had to go to work, and so she took her baby back to uh, daycare. And at daycare, the baby got sick. The baby got a cold. And uh, I typically get this cold every year. So the baby that I had exposure to made me and another person sick. And the other person and the baby were over this, this, uh, this cold in three days. And I kept the cold for almost three months. And I fought this cold for three months. And this was just a regular old cold. And so I thought to myself, if it takes me three months uh, to fight a cold, uh, and I mean, it was bad. I was trying to do my, uh, everybody was saying, hey, man, you got to go get yourself looked at. You guys remember when I was doing those videos, I was coughing and carrying on. It was tough. So I figured if it took me that long to get over a damn cold, uh, then if I were to get COVID virus, um, I would uh, really be really be hurting so um uh, 
the the reason I didn't feel that cold was COVID virus is because uh, I get that same cold every year and it lasts about three damn months about the same time each year. So I was like, yeah, I've had this before. I was very sick from it. So I didn't want to get that disease. So that was another reason. Knowing my response to this cold that I have every year, if a cold does that to my immune system, then what would the virus do? So that was another consideration for me to get it. So I went down there uh, on this Thursday and uh, rolled up my sleeve. Now, first of all, the line was very long. Um, and it wasn't done like I think it should have been done. I'm no doctor, but they had the people squeezed up too, too, too tightly together, walking uh, in, in a hall. And even the doctors came out and said, you guys are going to have to get six feet apart, which uh, what does that do in a hallway? But I had my my uh, I had my uh, N99 mask on uh, and um, I, I had a full face mask with, uh, you know, the uh, 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 go the goggle piece and everything. So my face and everything was was protected and I was uh, breathing through a filter, a uh, not an N95 filter, but an N99 filter. So I felt uh, safe in that respect. But uh, heck, you probably could have got COVID-19 there in that line. But uh, I, I, the line was fairly long. It, it wrapped down the hall and went to another hall. And but it wasn't it wasn't as long as other people. I mean, I, I might have been in line for an hour. So that's not drastically long. Um, and I went in there and rolled up my sleeve and. Um, they read some stuff to me and they gave me the shot. So how did the shot feel? The shot didn't hurt any more than any other uh, shot. I had the uh, um, uh, flu shot earlier the year, this year and the flu shot didn't didn't hurt at all and it never has. Uh, so the shot didn't hurt uh, and I got my card. Um, and, and so the first day, um, the shot felt kind of... Um, Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, the shot felt. Um, uh, it, it 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 felt sore, um, but just mildly sore the first day. I mean, it felt sore if you touched it. Um, it didn't like hurt my arm or anything. But I was uh, I was having some problems with my arm anyway, uh, with my elbow, so. Where other people might have said that the shot like hurt their elbow for me, I mean, it hurt their arm for me, the shot really kind of made my elbow feel a little weaker. My arm was weaker. Not, not remarkably so, but I just felt like I just didn't have it all in that arm. Later in the afternoon, because uh, at first I was like, oh, my arm doesn't hurt at all. Just uh, when I touch this. So later in the afternoon, uh, my arm began to hurt a little more. Not a throbbing or anything, just kind of like a, a nagging little, oh, you know, your arm's sore. You know, this didn't hurt, you know, didn't hurt to do this, didn't hurt to do this. But if you bumped up against your arm, it was tender. And if you rubbed it, it was tender. And it had a scratchy, like it itched. So, um, but towards the next day, the second day, my arm was really kind of sore, especially if I touched it. Um, it's really tender. And it felt itchy. So I got a massage machine uh, and put it on my elbow and my arm and everything. And this all felt good. When I brought that massage machine up to my shoulder where I had the shot at, which is right here, uh, that smarted a little bit. So then I tried to toughen up and put it on there. And uh, it, um, uh, it was more irritated than felt good. So uh, I wasn't able to like get the benefit of the massage unit like I wanted. So it was really kind of sore the second day. Uh, it still didn't stop you from doing things, um, you know, but it was sore. Uh, physically, I had no feelings of, of being ill. Uh, but what I'm told is that you're not going to feel ill until the second shot. So I, I didn't have any physical ailments. I didn't feel ill. I didn't feel bad. Um, maybe for like uh, 20 minutes, I felt like I had a, a stuffy nose the first day. Um, but you know, maybe I was just overseeing things, overthinking things. I was like, you know, scared. I was looking for something to happen. And, uh, but I didn't really, I, I had like maybe a stuffy nose and, um, that went away in about 20 minutes. 
Another thing is uh, some people have been getting this thing called Mal's, Mel's palsy or something, where their face, their face does something and shit like that. So I was, you know, scared. Like, am I gonna get Mel's palsy? So I, I felt a, uh, <laughs> I felt uh, a, uh, like a, uh, a numb spot right here, and it really scared me. Like, I felt this like real, this like little numb spot right here, and I was like, oh my god, am I getting Bell's palsy? And uh, as I as I was feeling it and, and and doing my mouth like, oh my god, I feel this. The phone rang. I got on the phone. I did something with the television. Uh, uh, somebody called me. I had to do something on the computer and blah blah. blah. And by the time I thought about it again, I reached my finger up to feel my little Mel's palsy part and it wasn't numb anymore. So I don't know what that means. But my face never did anything for me. None of that happened. So that was um that's been my experience with it. We're now on day four and my shoulder is no longer sore, but if you rub it, um it, it's not tender, you know, you can slap it and stuff now. So but if you rub it in the spot, you're like, oh, shoot, I got a shot there. So it's still a little bit sore, but, you know, not not man sore where you can't, you know, do manly things like somebody. Hey, Black Dragon, what's up, my brother? You know, hey, you hit him back, you know. So other than that, um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so those are the reasons I took it. Uh, and... Um, those were um that's that's my um my story so far um this is the cdc card and i think that you're gonna see some stuff go on with this card that that may be uh funny kind of funny style stuff i think that you're gonna see that this card is going to be used to um uh grant you access to places and things which uh like uh there's already been a major airline that said you're not going to be able to fly around the world uh or or out of the country unless you have this uh this card here this vaccination card and uh you know it's almost the size of a wallet and uh so you might see some really funny stuff happening if you don't have this. Like maybe you can't get a job or maybe you can't go back to work unless you unless you have this card. I, I, I'm curious to know what happens in the future uh, with this immunization and, and, and this vaccination, this card. I'm just curious to know because uh, I have never gotten a card before. But I guess maybe I have. When you're in school, you, you have to show proof of vaccination. And when you're in the military, I guess even your passport is uh, or your visa might might have that so i okay maybe i'm jumping the gun here but um that's i think that this vaccination card might be important i'm gonna uh, laminate mine and and have it where i can show it if i need to because i like to travel i'd like to get back to traveling again they say that uh you need two vaccinations i'm supposed to get my second vaccination uh somewhere around the 8th of february and when i do i will try to videotape it i videotaped the first one but they got mad at me and made me shut it off and threatened that they weren't going to give me my shot if I didn't shut the video off. And, uh, and and the lady was very upset that she thought she might lose her job. So in order not to fight and all that stuff with those folks, I just I just turned it off. But she agreed to take a picture with me. So if you go to Black Dragon Biker TV or on Facebook or Black Dragon Biker TV on uh, YouTube, you'll be able to see the video, uh, not the video, but the picture of me getting the shot, which is kind of cool. Um, but the next one I'm going to film because I'm going to let them know I'm filming and all that. And it won't be a surprise. Um, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Uh, uh, another, you know, dropping of the ball by the Trump uh, uh, administration with regards to not uh, having uh, a, the, the, the stockpile of secondary dosages, dosages that they were supposed to have. Now, and that really kind of ticks me off because you think, well, hey, man. If you're in the military whatever we always have a redundant backup plan so the fact that these guys didn't have any redundant backup plan really kind of pisses me off i went and took this shot and i'm gonna i'm gonna be truthful too i was scared i was scared to take the shot because of all the stuff that i've heard uh all the stuff that i've read all the stuff people are always talking about so you know like i'm, I'm scared as heck to get this shot um 
but I, I knew I was, um, uh, you know, I know I'm a figure. Uh, so I wanted to, to, to stick my chest out and say, okay, follow me, follow my lead and I'll do this. So I had to do all that stuff and, and get all in, in scared and intimidated and, and uh, uh, flustered and frustrated only to now have to be frustrated and worried and flustered and, 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 and like scared that the second shot might not be available. And that really is going to suck. So hopefully uh, these people can get the second doses is that we need in 30 days or so and get their act together. So that's my experience with this um, so far. And you can see part two uh, in about uh, 20 days or so, 25 days or so when I get my next uh, uh, shot. And, um, um, you know, uh, hopefully everything will go good. They say you're supposed to get really sick. Uh, my friend who took it, uh, who's had two shots, uh, said that uh, on his second shot, he said, don't plan to do anything for 24 to 48 hours because he uh, really went down. And this friend is, of course, a, a well-known doctor uh, out there who, uh, who, who got the shot. So how did I get in line in front of everybody else? Um, uh, I'm clearly not 75 years old. I'm not a first responder, although I feel I'm essential. I don't think I qualify for essential status. I am a uh, disabled veteran, and um, I have comorbidity, comorbidities, but the VA called me up and told me to come, and and uh, so I came. I, I, I didn't dilly-dally with it. Um, I was given the opportunity to go get the, the uh, administration. They had a one-day walk-in uh, where they, I guess, were just trying to get needles in arms instead of throwing the stuff away. Uh, instead of uh, letting the stuff uh, go bad, uh, they 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 probably had a stockpile and they were trying to uh, to get rid of it. Uh, maybe they should have froze it though. But who knows? And this is because the, they the, the 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 distribution has been botched. There should be millions of people that have it. At this point, there's only about 12 million people that have it. I'm one of those uh, 12 million. And another reason I took the test, I took the uh, um, uh, vaccination, is because I. Figured, heck, 12 million other people have taken it. So uh, hopefully this is not going to be like the movie Another 28 Days. Or uh, the other one, the one with uh, Will Smith where he gave everybody the vaccination. And then a few days later, the world was at an end. Yeah, I was scared of this kind of stuff. I really was. I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you see that stuff on TV? And they don't lie on TV. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was scared. I really was. So if you're scared, I got it. I got you. I understand. Uh, and here we are. So God bless you. I would tell you that I'm more afraid of the disease and what I've seen that it can do than I am of the vaccine. Another consideration, I was in the United States Navy. And when I was in the Navy, they gave us shots for every damn thing. I laid on top of a nuclear warhead uh, to go to sleep uh, uh, when I was a young sailor and there weren't enough beds for everybody so we hot racked in the torpedo room and and my bed was next door to the nuclear next uh, to the nuclear warhead i i slept next to the nuclear warhead uh wrapped up around it and everything so i survived all that i figured that i would probably be okay uh, with the uh vaccination so i'm black dragon and that's my story um and that's my uh reasons for taking and and i feel good i feel healthy my arm is better again and um i hope that i would be um uh, uh safe in a uh in in another uh 20 days or so 25 days i take the next um vaccination and then perhaps the um uh, 12 or 13 days later, I would reach maximum, um, uh, maximum, uh, 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 antibodies or whatever the case may be, uh, that this, this would probably pre pre prevent me from getting sick. Now, as I understand it, uh, it doesn't prevent you from, um, uh, catching the disease. So your life is not going to change all that much in terms of, um, 
needing to wear the uh, face mask. You're still going to have to wear your face mask and stuff. That's not going to change um, until they get enough people um, uh, 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 vaccinated. Uh, and you can still get the disease, I'm told. You just uh, are not likely to die from it. Interesting, huh? <laughs> so this is not the fail-safe. You're still going to have to be. Or or you could still pass the disease, even if you don't get it. If your antibodies are such that you don't get it, you could still pass it to other people that, that, that uh, are not vaccinated. So uh, you will still have a responsibility to other people out there in the world. Um, as we work to start getting people uh, vaccinated. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's my two cents. I'd love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. You can get us Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker News you can trust Monday through Friday at 7-ish a.m. Uh, wherever you get your podcast, The Dragon's Lair, Motorcycle Chaos. We simulcast on podcasts. You can actually get this on podcast if you want it. The Dragon's Lair, Motorcycle Chaos. Wherever you get your podcast, Podbeam, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, you name it, we are there. Uh, so check us out, The Dragon's Lair, Motorcycle Chaos, Monday through Friday on your drive to work. We are on at 7-ish Eastern time. You can also uh, uh, check us out on Black Dragon Biker TV YouTube, Black Dragon Biker TV on Facebook, and Black Dragon Biker TV on Instagram TV. We've got gear at blackdragonsgear.com. Go over there and get your Wii shirt. The Motorcycle Club is not about I. The Motorcycle Club is about we. Yeah. I think I did that. Uh, there we are. Black Dragon. Oh, can't even do that. Yeah, because I didn't set it up. But anyway, BlackDragonsGear.com. Go check us out. Listen, I'm Black Dragon and uh, loved, enjoyed speaking to you this afternoon. I hope that does it for you. Um, and I want you guys to be safe out there. Do your thing. Take care of yourselves. And uh, go with God. Thanks for tuning in. And get skinny.